Today we are going to do back testing together and I want you to see how uh, it feels like to be able to predict the market and then place the market without involving your real account, your real money, how to control emotions, how even to get those good setups that will give you confidence that the minute you find the setups later on, you are able to enter without worry. Hi guys, my name is Esther Mofri. If you're new here, you're most welcome. So today on our back testing, we'll do Euro USD. This is for our chart, but by my back testing starts all the way to monthly. So what I do, I'll first squeeze this chart because I don't want to get ideas uh, on the trend of the market. And then you can go to monthly. And maybe I can pick a day. Maybe I can pick Feb, uh, Jan, uh, Feb, March. Which month do I pick now? Which month? Which is my favorite month? I think my favorite month is. Uh, can I pick August? Maybe I can pick August. Um, maybe I can pick August. Which year? Maybe I can pick August twenty twenty nineteen. So can I pick August 2019? August 2019. I've never actually checked the market because I started trading back in 2020. So this one, it's a bit, um, yeah, it's a bit new. Uh, I don't know what to expect, but this is basically what happens whenever you want to analyze. The first thing that you need to do, guys, is to mark your highest point. We need to mark our highest point so that you can have those um they are called what we can have the support in place the resistance in place and the first thing that you need to understand number one thing in my analysis i really focus on the trend line the trend line are very good for extra confirmation not necessarily that everyone should use trend line but if you use trend line as a layer of confirmation it is very very good so if you don't know how to use uh, to do the trend line i have dedicated a whole video which i will link uh, down below uh, showing people how to do trend line so i'll just be quick trend line you know you connect two positions and make sure the price has not uh, it's not cutting through uh, your trend line so we have a space here i'll still connect again from the downside here i connect again see something that i'm doing the market if you ever find the market like this and you have your trend line here and this candle closes like this you are assured that the market will drop all the way but it is not as easy said than done it's not as easy like i'm saying you need there is a lot to check in before even you take a trade so let me um focus on the uh the trend line so that is the trend line guys and that is my monthly let's go to weekly the weekly and we try to see what is really happening you can see even weekly the market has already broke this um the trend line you can see it broke this trend line so for me what i don't i can't bring the the trend line here because this is an ongoing candle a weekly candle so what i do i'll just adjust to that previous candle the red one and again let's see if we'll have um we'll have a trend line above here so this is the trend line you can see we have still some space so make sure there are no gaps left in your trend line and i've told you not everyone who uses trend line but trend line is a layer of confirmation it's an added layer you see the way you have like you're cooking a cake and you have so many ingredients for it to taste good. Trend line is one of the ingredients for your for your, for your trading. So it doesn't matter it doesn't matter uh, what you do uh, on other other strategies, but at least trend line will give you that extra confirmation. So if you don't use trend line, don't tell people, oh, it's not a must to use trend line. It is very, very important. So for me, I have an, a, a line, my, my weekly. And from what I can see, guys, 
from even analyzing i can see that this market has been trending down you can see the market is giving us it was high here but started breaking structure how do you know the market has broke structure this is the break of structure you can see the market broke structure here giving us a low low and then the market came the buyers were unable to push this market over there giving us a low high and the market breaks the structure so this is definitely a downtrend so what we have here what we have in this uh, at this moment is a market that is unable to break a very key support so we have this support you can see again this is why i tell people make sure you do weekly analysis you can see here we have support we can see at the end here the support was very very uh, strong so these are very key zone here there's a support there's a support here and the market is still reacting at this support so the question is will the market break this support that's the question guys and then at the end at the above here we have the overall the overall uh, resistance so if this market can go up and start breaking this resistance i think we can go back to where the market was so at this moment we are in a like a channel and if you have watched the video that i have done recently i have told you there's nothing good like a setup that has a channel so let's go to daily so see how i'm moving from one time frame to another see how i'm moving from one time frame to another so on daily it is very clear that the market was on this channel the market has has been on a channel for a very long time so i can even put a, like a box the market has been on this channel and now it has broke our channel you see so if you find your market in this position guys i never even thought that we will find the market breaking breaking the channel breaking the trend line and that's what we have that's what we have guys that's what we have so you have a very 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 strong con conviction that the market will sell and where will the market sell to where do you think this market will sell to the market will sell this distance guys i have said so many times that whenever you're on a channel that's the easiest setup that you can do the market will sell that distance so you should be very very ready for that um for that market to to sell that distance so initially the market will come all the way and you see it is almost touching our trend line so if you know that the market has broke structure let me write it for you you see this is how you analyze any pair and most of the time you can be lucky if you find the market that has broken structure remember those people who are watching um euro usd for so long they have stayed there for months without seeing break of structure on this support but for you you have come you have found that the market has broke structure so two things you need to understand is that the market can retrace that is one two the market can do it can be just a fake breakout and i i think i explained so clearly what setups uh, uh, you should really see and go in big these are some of the setups you should see with your eyes and go in big so the minute the market has broke structure first of all you need to understand where you're moving on the range because if the market will tend to retest you need to know where the market can retest to so if this market it it can retest the market can retest either at the trend line where the 200 dma is either at back here you can see where 20 ma is is where the the resistance is the market can come back and retest there or at 50 ma most of the time i don't use 50 ma as my retest i use 20 and 200 if you see the market going back to 200 how many pips are those so these are some of the things that you should keep in mind it's 267 but for the 20 ma it's 115 yes there is confirmation we are on a sell sell has been confirmed but the remaining thing is the entry guys it's not a must that you find your market in this structure we have just found a market that has broken a channel and we know very well that this market will sell now the big question where is the entry and that is everything that is what um that is what makes 
uh, the trader because everyone can analyze what I have done. If this market was here, I can analyze, I can put trend line, but can I be able to know a perfect entry? Perfect entry, you'll find it on four hour. Four hour is where you find perfect entry. So what should I do on, on what should I do on this time frame? Maybe I should put uh, some trend line like that because the market tend even to react on the trend line. I can have that trend line. So the market is aligning very well with my resistance and the three trend line. So let's go to four hour and see if we can use our WBB strategy for entry. So our WBB strategy for entry guys is very simple. I told you once the market breaks like this, wait for, wait for WBB. WBB is when the market retest and then you can apply the three signal entry. So we are not interested to hope in because this is chasing the market. I call it don't get involved. DGI don't get involved. Why? Why would you want to be served food that you didn't even participate, uh, participate preparing and everything? Why would you want to hope in this trade? You have not even paid the price of being patient. Don't get involved. This is DGI and many people, they DGI many trades and what happens is that they lose everything they have been earning. DGI is very, very bad, more so in trades that you don't understand. So DGI for me means don't get involved. It's not a must. You, you chase this trade, wait for the market to retrace. So number one rule here, we have analyzed the market. We know what is happening. We know that the market uh, might, the market might come to retrace. Let me now here is the query. How do we get involved? Because I've said, don't get involved. The question is, how will we get all this profit? For me, what I do, if I get a setup and a very, very profitable setup, and I told you, I even never knew that I'll get such a setup. I like accumulation uh, setups where it is creating a channel. How, what guarantee us to get 344 pips? Because this distance is 344 pips. So we'll just play our playback to see if the market retraced so the market kept going down and you can see our first retracement you can see our first retracement the green candle so the second retracement uh after you see the green candle you will use the rules so let me write for you the rules guys because many people don't understand so entry after retest entry after retest what are you looking because i'll keep preaching this until everyone understand what i mean entry after retest so the retest market is of course the green candle we are waiting for red candle to show up wait wait red candle wait for red candle wait for red candle that's number one if the red candle appears ask yourself is it bullish not bullish, bearish, because here we are selling, bearish and engulfing candle. If not, number three, if not, do WBB, if not. So for us, in this case, with that being said, we have a green candle and the red candle has appeared. After the green candle, the red candle has appeared because these are retracements. The red candle has appeared. You have said, wait for red candle. The red candle has appeared. Red candle, you need to understand. Is it bearish engulfing candle? Is it bearish engulfing candle? So the candle that is in question is this red candle, this one. Is it a red candle? If it is not a red candle, if it is, uh, it's, is it a bearish engulfing candle? Has it engulfed the green one? If it has not, you wait. And then the other thing, this is a bonus entry level. And I, te I teach in detail, bonus entry level. There are candles that we ignore. Ignore any indecision candle. Indecision candle and start again. 
Even if this is a red candle, what do you think this candle is? It's like indecision, it's like a reversal. If you can't understand your candle, because what is happening with this candle, you can see the sellers have tried, yes, there's an end of retracement, the sellers have tried to push this market, but they are unable. So even if we get another candle that is red, we will assume this, so there is no box. So that candle, we assume it. I give in details on my mentorship on how to assume this candle. But if we had a very good sell like that, it was just a sell without a wick, we could have put WBB. But this candle, it is a clear indication it can be a reversal candle. The market may be reversing and we do not want to be caught up in a market that is reversing because this looks looks to me as a hammer you don't do wbb on a hammer candle you don't do wbb on the on the indecision candle on doji candle kindly don't do wbb don't go oh i've seen a red candle now let me put don't do that don't do that and i think um i i will i will show you the reason why so whenever you see a red candle first of all ask yourself wait for red candle is it bearish engulfing if not do WBB. So the one that you don't need to do WBB, um, if it's doji, if it's doji or indecision. Indecision means it doesn't, you can't tell what it wants to do. Don't do WBB on these candles. They will mess you up. So let's see uh, the next candle. So the next candle is the red one. So this is the accurate candle that you want to put WBB. So remember, I've told you guys, assume this candle because of what? Many people and have tested. You will get a red candle and if at all you put your box, what to, if at all we can put our box like this, you can see it has broke the box. So you will be tempted to enter. But now we are putting that is our first red candle. We ignore this candle because it's a reversal candle. So if at all this momentum candle, the, the sellers now can push the market down, I have no problem. So let's see if we have the next candle. So the next candle, and this is what I have seen happening. Once you get to, you get a candle engulfing an indecision candle, now you'll get a bearish, a bullish engulfing candle and imagine you had placed your trade so remember we are not interested with this buy those people who do scalp on a retracement you can enter it has engulfed and maybe target your zone so we want to see where the red candle is coming in so the bucket still bought we want to see our first red candle and i think so i've said don't put wbb on a doji don't put WBB like that and you wait it to be broken. Doji already, it, it is tell you it is telling you that both buyers and sellers are not, uh, they have not decided. So no WBB, no WBB on Doji. Guys, don't put WBB on Doji. So we can't put WBB. We need a very good candle that is showing momentum. It's showing sellers are willing. So let's continue. And you see what happens with this kind of candles. Don't put WBB on dodges because you'll get disappointed. So in this case, the market broke our trend line. It has retested our trend line. And maybe we are thinking the market may start uh, coming back. So you can see which type of candles we are getting. These are types of candles you don't. Most of the ones that have wicks on, at, on top, wicks below, because once you put them like this, we can try. Let's see if they'll break. I don't trust those types of candles. You see what happens? And this is something I have realized. They will print a red candle. And every time here they trap sellers. Here they have trapped sellers. Why would you want to be trapped? So even if I am teaching you about WBB, know the candles to always, to always check. So that is it. The, the another candle you see why are sellers being uh why are they printing very funny candles why can they print a very good candle like this a bully a bearish engulfing candle so 
you can see after that candle the market still go up so what let, let me play and see maybe where we got so the market continue to go up don't forget we broke structure we broke structure so the market continue to go up we have our first we have our first uh, momentum candle so it shows that maybe buyers maybe buyers are now ready to give up so let's see what is happening so the reason is the reason why we didn't enter here it's because we have a space on the trend line if at all you didn't have this trend line, you could have entered your trade because the market has broke, has done WBB. So guys, everything happens for a reason. I could not enter that trade. Why? I know once a trend line is broken, it has to go to the next trend line. So there's no way you can assume a trend, trend line, it has broken and, and you assume that the market will just drop. Until it touches our trend line, that's when we are interested on this trade. So I'm looking where the market will touch the trend line. Many people would ask, oh, we could have entered this trade. We could. This is, a, this is not an accurate trade, more so for beginners. Why? Because you will be thinking, I want to sell here. I want to sell here. Nobody has the mind that the market can go all this up. So those people who may think, I have lost all this opportunity. Don't mind about the opportunity you have lost. Mind about the strategy that you're using to get that perfect entry. So I'm looking where the market will touch the trend line. Let's see if the market touched our trend line. So you can see the market even it has entered a consolidation because unless it touches the trend line, unless it touches the trend line, we do not have an entry there. So what is happening after this consolidation? After this consolidation, the market has broke the consolidation. So it might fail to touch the trend line, but it has broken it has broken this consolidation so i think for me now i can enter sell why compare this momentum candle with this uh with these candles just compare these candles the red candles with this and then another thing many people don't want to wait this is like two three days of waiting everyone wants to get a setup and i told you what don't get involved in a market that you didn't have a story at this moment, we know what is happening. We know the buyers have been stretched to the end. We know the buyers were unable. They were unable. And if at all, I can even adjust, if I can adjust the trend line, I know maybe it was, it was touched one day, one way or the other. So <clears throat> if I can ad uh, uh, touch, uh, adjust from the first attempt, you can see it was, playing along the trend line. So what do you do? In this case, we have the mind that the market broke structure. We were just waiting for retest. You see guys how retest takes time. It takes time for people to get tired. And now with this retest, we have got even a very perfect entry, a perfect position that will give us 375 pips. Remember if we entered here, it would be less. So quickly short position can have two tps is the best thing to do is to have two tps the guaranteed tp of a channel is the the half of that box so the first tp is that one then you can observe the market and maybe you can enter the second tp so that's the first tp the reason why we have um, the reason why we have chosen half of this is because the market may, may come here and we have been even given a discounted price. So how many pips to the half of the TP? Half of the TP is 211 pips. And this, guys, is a sure bet. This is a sure bet uh, in the market. So let's play and see what really happened. So we have the market trying to go... Um, trying to go up trying to go down and our tp is hit so the first tp is hit and you can see every time you will ever see the market going down like this don't overstretch it why the sellers are struggling the sellers are really struggling to to push that market down so that is it for our 
uh, back testing. That is it for back testing. I hope you have understood about when to enter the entry signal. That's what really affects so many people. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Love you.